African Marketplace 2005. We also have the opportunity to view some works of another excellent artist and photographer who's a bass player, a good friend of ours, Mr. Bob Lee. We're going to show a retrospect as we get into that series. I, I want you to kind of talk about not what Bob shot, but as they're looking at that, the energy from the marketplace and your understanding of what he was looking at, what his eye was going to as well. You know, as that's coming up, and he, here it is here as well. Yeah. So wh what do you feel that he's feeling as Well, as one of the things that we had talked about prior, <clears throat> because, you know, he did play on a couple of your sets as a bass player. But after he put, as you say, we all were doing different things, he put it down and he said, Papa T, I want to help you. Fine. And he grabbed his camera and did what things that I would try to do, capture what was going on at the marketplace. And in doing so, I uh, noticed Bob has a fantastic eye as well. Yes. Besides being the great bass player he is, but uh, he captures what is happening. That's, and matter, that's, that's one of his friends also. Yeah, that's the great. <coughs> He's been on the show. Clarence, C.J. Johnston, oh, yeah. drummer extraordinaire, one of the best in the world with the brushes. You know, he's actually one of the members of the Jazz Zone as well. Yeah. But as he was capturing that, it looks like a Matter of fact, that's somebody I think we know. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and Bob, he, uh, he knows a lot of musicians, so quite naturally, he captures that part of the spirit. Yes. And uh, in seeing some of the shots that he put up, <clears throat> I felt very good about them as well. And as you see there, there was a lot happening at the marketplace this year. Although we had to move our location, I think personally things were fantabulous. I hope that's a good word. Oh yeah, you said it, it's good. Oh, okay. Right. It's good. good. Yeah. That's how to get the words we use them. You know what? That's that. There it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I notice he's got a good eye also. <laughs> Even a lovely lady, and she could sing, by the way. Miss Doll Scott Macduff. Yes, indeed. Jack Macduff's uh, uh, former wife as well. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I wonder who that guy is. <clears throat> the capture of the kids, watch this. You oh, see, they were talking uh -huh. and they came right to it. He was very interested. As Papa T <laughs> and uh, get I, get uh, I. <laughs> yeah, one of the directors, uh, Maya, is, uh, Mara. Yeah, Mara, Mara, Mara uh, Owens Townsend. And yes, as a musician, he was catching. You, could, you know, you could feel and that. How we say you felt that? Yeah. When you're on the set, you could yeah. feel the musicians talking to each other. So I know it was calling him. Watch this oh, eye. This Watch nice. this eye. Watch that eye. Is that by Bailey Adonia? Yeah. No. The, the eye turned right into the tuba. Oh, man. I mean, the way he captured it and, and presented this. And this is another one of our friends, uh, Mr. Tony uh, Harris, yes. who is an excellent engineer. And it's uh, Abdul. Oh, he's there yeah. every year. Oh, yeah. He's very good. Very friendly person, too. Mm -hmm. And he chats with the youngsters. I oh, think yes. we'll show a yes. shot later. Education. Mm -hmm. uh, he takes the time to... Oh, and that's the Professor Peterson. He's a professor of education as well. But he does other things as well. Oh, I love that. I love it. We like to catch the little people. Yes. <coughs> you know, that makes me smile. There was a whole family presentation going on throughout there. I was talking to Bob, even though he's a bass player, a player, a guitar player, a bass player. The drummer had dropped his stick, and that's why he had the drumstick in his hand. But he was capturing all of this, the, the, the flow, the energy of the African Marketplace 2005. And that young lady, I've known them for many years. They were dancers with the uh, Paul Kennedy and Arlene Kennedy, yeah. Universal yeah. Dance Studio in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I've seen them grow up from youngsters to now young ladies. And all of this stemming from James V. Burke's vision, right? The yes. African marketplace. As we started the series, we started the series with James V. Burke as the founder, and that's how our series started. 
and the combination, even the background, uh, the scenes on stage were created by one of the artists there, uh, Mr. Carlos Spivey. He's absolutely a, a fabulous artist. Yeah. And he caught this young lady too. He just continues. I mean, this is just making me smile. I just can't yes. even. Yes. The, 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 the photographer's eyes. Wish you could have feel been right there. there. Oh, I was there. Yes. Mm -hmm. But those that missed it have the opportunity to catch it vicariously through the lens of the uh, photographer. <laughs> Papa T. Papa T. <laughs> and I'll tell you a yeah. story momentarily. Uh,